there's one thing in my life that's missing It's the time that I spend alone Sailing on the cool and bright clear water Lots of those friendly people And they're showing me ways Here's a beautiful sunrise over the mountains of St. John Absolutely beautiful I hope the camera's picking up that cloud because that's absolutely incredible. And then back over there is St. Thomas. But I really, really hope the camera's picking up the colors of what the sunrise is doing to the clouds. Yeah, good morning from the Keneal Bay. A just absolutely beautiful morning. Seeing the sunrise and the calm. Having my coffee with John. We woke up this morning and we noticed a turtle going around our boat so we figured we'd get a closer shot and we're heading out right now to see if we can get a real close up of a turtle that's probably about three feet long. This is Cruise Bay, St. John, United States Virgin Islands. Beautiful little port. What we did this morning was we just came in on the tender and uh, just wanted to take a look, confirm where the dinghy dock was and uh, all of that stuff. So uh, we're going to go back to the boat now, get Michael, get him up, and uh, come back in town for uh, do some provisioning and walk around. And then we'll go back to the boat, enjoy it for a little bit, do some snorkeling, do some swimming. And we'll, we're actually going to stay another night and come in here where these guys haven't seen um, St. John. So. Uh, Pretty much the same thing as yesterday, minus the sailing, and we'll be in town uh, in a little bit. Okay, what we're going to do is um, we're going to... John, great. Okay, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to move to a different mooring ball closer to Cruise Bay. And uh, by doing that, we also feel like we are in a different anchorage. So we'll just uh, move ahead to another so We're going to pick up the new mooring ball here, which brought us... Probably a couple hundred yards closer to Cruise Bay, and it's going to give us a little bit of a different anchorage perspective. Beautiful little beach in there, so um, should be perfect. A little bit to your port. A little more. Okay, great. And we're all set. That's our mooring move, and uh, at the same time we're charging our battery, so uh, we'll let the engine run for probably another uh, 20 minutes or so. So, see ya in Cruise Bay. Hey, I just got out of the water from my third swim, and it's only 10.30. Mark and Mike went into town to get some water. We ran out of water, if you can believe it. Uh, bottled water, not tap water, but bottled water. Yesterday, about noontime on our way here, we thought we had another 12-pack, but we must have used it. So they're in getting some light provisions and also the water, so they'll be back in a few minutes. The water here is probably 85, 88, could even be 90 degrees. It's, it's incredibly warm, incredibly clear. There's nothing like being in the islands, um, whether it be the British Virgin Islands, Spanish... U.S., the Bahamas, wherever it is, it's just uh, absolutely beautiful. So we'll unload all the provisions when they get back, and then we'll head back into town, do some shopping. We want to grab some lunch, and uh, then we'll come back, and generally we do a little reading. We swim, we snorkel. We don't wear very much in the uh, way of clothing on this boat. Generally, you'll see us walking around with no clothes on. It's like a college or a high school locker room. It's the most comfortable way to be on a boat. And we've done this now for a few years, but I guess we've never talked about it. But uh, it's hot and sticky, and the easiest thing with drying clothes and not drying clothes is to not wear clothes. So as long as there's not a lot of boats around us, we just walk around bare-ass naked. We swim bare-ass naked. It's just, uh, it's, it's a way of life, and I think it takes a little bit getting used to, but uh, then it just becomes normal. We see it on a lot of other boats, and um, it's just a way of life, and uh, it's part of freedom. 
Oops, I see Mike and Mark coming now, so we're going to unload the tender, put everything away, we'll head back into town, grab some lunch, walk around a little bit, and um, from this beautiful island of St. John, the United States Virgin Islands, Keneal Bay, we'll talk to you later. Here's our little beach that we moved to this morning. It's occupied, but uh, absolutely beautiful. I hope the video does justice for the color of that water. Did you get water? Yeah. Oh, perfect job. Are you going back in or are you going to stay out here for a bit? I'm going back in. Why? I have a dentist appointment. For what? I'm supposed to have a root, a root canal on a tooth that I haven't done it yet. It's killing me. Because you're too cheap. How much is it? A root canal? I no. just haven't had the time to do it at home. So you're going to have a root canal today? No, I'm not going to have a root canal. I'm going to have them look at it. Just to make sure everything's okay because it's killing me. Oh. No, this does uh, not go on the vlog. No, seriously. My family sees this stuff. Yeah, they would. But I'll look it up. understand this. You had this one here. I had this one here, which is, means uh, samadhi, Sanskrit, yeah. samadhi. And you and then, wanted to get a little color in I, here, and you came back with this well, one Well, no, here. I wanted to get some color around it. Yeah. And then I just took liberty because, well, he wasn't paying attention. It's funny, I could never drive here. It's weird, but it's, well, I'm a left-handed person, so this is like utopia. Okay. Because it's left-handed driving. My wife is retarded. <laughs> just, just look in there, and as long as we're like somewhat in the picture, we don't have to be centered, we don't have to look. Yeah, it's already on. Yeah. You're, you're already videoing. Oh, oh, no, 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 it's the time that I spend alone Sailing on the cool and bright clear